So what we're doing here today is we're going to be comparing a couple of op amps uh, on the board here right now and operating. I've got a 741 op amp. It's a classic. Uh, we're running a well, plus and minus 12 volts here. I'm using an old uh, computer power supply. It's close enough. It's not exactly plus 12 and minus 12, but close enough for our purposes. And down here I have a TL081, which is a direct pin for pin um, compatible substitute for the 741 here, but significantly quicker. And we're going to take a look on the oscilloscope and uh, compare some waveforms. But first we're going to have a look at the circuit and uh, what we've got going on here. It's a very simple square wave circuit. Uh, the op amp has uh, output of uh, on channel 1 here, which is our yellow trace, even though I don't have a yellow pen. That's, we're going to have a look at that on channel 1. And then we're going to have a look at the charge-discharge cycles that go across the capacitor here, and that's on channel 2, the blue one on the oscilloscope. Uh, fairly straightforward circuit. Uh, for the op amp, pin 8 has no connection. We are not going to use the, uh, the offset in here. We're just going to leave it alone and leave the op amp as it is. And we're going to compare the two op amps speed-wise. And you can see here, even before we have a closer look at the stats on the oscilloscope, significantly faster, roughly 17 times quicker approximately. The uh, 741 is rated for only half a volt per microsecond and ours is doing considerably better than that but it's still only 0.75 roughly and the TLO81 is rated for 13 volts per microsecond and we're actually doing just ever so slightly better than that. Again when we have a look on the oscilloscope we'll have a look at the stats for this. So let's go take a closer peek on the scope uh, for the 741 and we can see here that, um, first of all, we've got a tiny bit of a problem right here, right at these, at the peaks of our charging curve. That's our blue one here. That's the voltage that's across the capacitor, the charge-discharge capacitor. And you can see there's a bit of a curve right down at the bottom here, and that's because this op-amp is slow enough that it uh, doesn't switch quite so quickly. And we're going to take and expand out the waveform a little bit, and we can see our rise time here. Now if I go to the, the measurements and we're going to do all measures and we're going to look on channel 1 and there we are and we're going to get the machine itself to give us a, 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 a measurement of slew rates. I need to get two waveforms on the screen here to do that. So on the positive side of the waveform as it slews up is doing approximately uh, 770,000 volts per second. So that's roughly 0.77 volts per microsecond. And the downgoing slew rate, the time that this waveform takes to go down on this side, is roughly the same. We can see that our duty cycle is not exactly 50-50, so we're not quite a true square wave here. And uh, we're running at a little over a, a little over a kilohertz, a little over a thousand cycles per second. So we have something to compare this to when we go to our faster op amp. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take and store the waveform. I'm going to expand this out a bit, and then we're going to make a reference waveform here. And we're going to store this on channel one make it reference number one. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to store this portion of the waveform here and then when we get over to the TL081 we are going to compare that and this when I push this button here it will make a red trace for us. You can might be able to see it right there by the yellow one so that at least gives us something to compare to. I will change the op app out and we will have a look at the performance of the TL081. So there you can now see on the screen the yellow trace here. Nothing has been changed except the op amp itself. Uh, we can see our old red trace here which was from the 741 and this is how long it takes to for a rise time compared to the TLO81 which is obviously significantly quicker and I can still expand that out some more even yet. And we can just see the sort of difference here. The, there's the 741 here and here's the TLO81. Voltage, everything else is all exactly the same. So I was going to show what the oscilloscope shows for its uh, statistics and we'll go to 
the all measures here. Channel 1, get rid of that off the screen. And then I have to take and put at least a complete waveform on the screen for us to get all the other measurements there. And uh, we can see one of the main things we're looking for is right here, that slew rate. Remember we had about 0.77 uh, or 770,000 volts per second. Now we've got about almost, well, at times it says 14 million volts per second. So it's over 13 million volts per second. So that's over 13 volts per microsecond. And uh, that's, that's, it's rated for 13, so we're doing slightly better than that. Notice, uh, as you saw on the uh, board there, that our uh, frequency here is a little, little bit higher. We don't have those um, kind of rounded edges anymore on the, uh, right here. We've got some, basically it, it switches fairly quickly and there's no delay there. So our frequency is slightly higher. And I thought I might show a little close-up of what's going on on the board here. You can see a tantalum capacitor on this side here. This is the negative side, negative rail. The negative rail from the power supply is actually a tad on the noisy side. So a, um, an electrolytic like this one here on the uh, plus 12 volt side just wouldn't do the job over here. The tantalum is just uh, a better filtering capacitor for a situation like this where I've got some 47 kilohertz switching noise coming in here so for out of the out of the supply so this works much much better it gives us much nicer looking cleaner waveforms uh, a couple of 10k resistors as we had in our circuit there the circuit diagram and a 12k right here here's our TL081 and a foil capacitor for the uh, timing circuit and that's the basics. Um, and also the, the 741 price wise compared to the TL081, it's within pennies. So why you would ever want to use one of these specifically, the 741s anymore, I'm not really sure because it's just so much nicer to, to use this guy right here. <clears throat> there is one thing though with uh, the TL081s, if, uh, if you have some spurious noise or you don't have good grounding or something these guys can oscillate because they'll they'll work up to three megahertz and sometimes more and uh, these guys here are so slow that there's a lot of problems you will never get uh, for have having uh, bad grounding or something that this will show it up this will not because it's too slow